Hey guys, what's going on? So today I have a fun fact for you. It has been over four years since Piggy came out. Pretty cool, right? And four years of Piggy means four years worth of skins, right? Correct. So I came up with this idea and I was like, hey, there's almost 100 skins in Piggy. So why not rank all of them? That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be ranking every single Piggy skin from book one to book two to the extra skins. We're going to be ranking all of them from worst to best. Each skin will go into a certain tier. The tiers that we have are F, D, C, B, A, and S. S being the best one and F being the worst. And like I said, we're going to be going up. We're going to be going from F to S. So let's get right into it, starting with... Ah. So let me ask you a question first. When we think of piggy skins, what comes to mind? Maybe the default piggy skin or Mr. P or the insolence. But I guarantee you, when you think of Piggy Skins, the last skin you think of is Mother. Now, this is no offense to all of the mothers out there. Love you, Mom. But the thing is, is that this skin is at the bottom of the list because of how bland it is. She has almost nothing to her except the tiny little flower on her head. Now, setting the redesigns aside... Even the original design of Mother still probably would have been at the bottom of the list. Because, just look at it. It's super forgettable. There's n there's nothing to it, like I said. I like the purple dress. That's nice. I like the color purple. But, like, I mean, look at its pupils. Look at her pupils. There's, there's no color to them. They're just straight black. Maybe, oh, oh, maybe, just if, just if Minitune went back and added maybe some color to her pupils, added some glowing pupils then maybe it wouldn't have been an F tier, but it just looks so bland and lifeless. Again, no hard feelings to all the mothers out there. I, all of our mothers are probably great. The thing is, is just that that doesn't save the skin from being at the bottom F tier. Grandmother, just like, you know, mother, just is just once again, just kind of there, just kind of boring. And this is one of the rare occasions when I say that the redesign looks worse than the original design. Grandmother's original design, she had a pink dress and her hat had more color to it, but now her hat and her dress is just straight bluish purple and the hat lost all of its texture to it. It's just, everything's just the same color and it just kind of leaves the skin to be kind of a lot more boring than it originally was. The skin is basically just mother, but with a hat and glowing pupils. That's it. If mother had glowing pupils in a hat and grandmother looked like mother, then grandmother would be at the bottom of the list. You are my brother, Anakin. Little brother, more like little br brother boring, huh? Am I right? So, little brother was my out of the piggy, out of the piggy family member skins. Little brother was my favorite because he's blue and blue's my favorite color. But he's really just there and boring and generic. I mean, he's essentially just the default piggy skin, except with a blue dress and a white eye. So, he's pretty boring. So, yeah. I forgot to mention the things about the last three. I forgot to mention their theme that plays and their jump scare and their weapon. So, I'm going to do that with Pandy, starting from Pandy with all the other skins now. So, Pandy, mm, she's just... Once again, she's just boring, and her, she has a stick of bamboo? That's it? Yeah, I get she's a panda, but like, really? A stick of bamboo? That's it? And her theme, it's it's okay. I, I kind of like it. It's okay. But other than that, her design isn't great, and the music is okay, and her weapon could be better. Anyway, that's all the F-tier skins. So now we're going to move on to the D-tier skins. I'm Peppa Pig. Here it is, the most iconic, the most owned skin in the game. The default piggy skin. Pretty cool. So, yeah, so... The, the only reason she's not an F tier is because she's the most iconic skin in the game. So, yeah. Oh, my partner's a demon and I'm mad at them. I don't like the devil skin. It's just, it's just, it, there's too much red on it. Why not add, like, some, some black or something to it? Then it'd look kind of cooler. It's just not interesting. I don't like it. Also because I'm religious, so I don't really like the skin all that much. You know what I was thinking? 
I was thinking of taking Poopers the sheep to the end. Gotta say, if it weren't for Sheepy's redesign, she'd be a lot more closer to the very bottom. She still is, but, you know, she would have been way, way, way lower than she already is, you know what I mean? Because she didn't really look that great to begin with. But that doesn't make her design, like, terrible or anything. I think she looks pretty good. I, I mean, yeah, that's all I have to say, really. I just like her design. And her music is also good, too. I, like, all, like, the Piggy family and uh, Sheepy, their music is just the main menu theme, just slowed down. But, and it's a little bit boring. Kind of wish they had unique themes instead of just the book one main menu. But, hey, you can get what you always want. Luke, I am your father. Nuh uh. The f you mean, nuh uh. Father is my favorite out of the default piggy family skins because I just like the color scheme and stuff like that. What I do miss, though, is in his original Daddy Pig design, he had the, uh, the glasses. And I feel like if you're gonna redesign him, why not keep the glasses and include the hat too with that? But besides that, he's still a pretty cool skin. His theme is, you know, once again, the book one menu slowed down, but that's okay. That is, that's not stopping him from being an okay skin. All right, we just made a big achievement. We passed all of the Piggy family skins, except for one, but we'll get to that one later. Now we can move on to the more interesting skins. Rats, we're rats, we're the rats. I feel so bad putting Ray is all the way at 89th place. I thought he was kind of cool back then, but looking back at him, he's just super nothingness. His theme is one of the only things I like about him. The sad piano music just kind of fits him. But man, he has really downgraded a lot. When the audio update came, Ray's used to like, like hiss at you, but now his jump scare sound just sounds like a siren. It's just super off-putting. I don't know why Manitune decided to add that sound to him of all things. Look, just he's boring. He has almost nothing to him. He's the easily the worst book two skin. Okay, now don't get me wrong. I'm a huge cat guy. I love cats. But the, but this skin is just it's just it's just not for me. She looks much better now with her redesign, but she's still kind of just there and just really boring. Like I I don't even know what to say about this skin. It's just there's like I said, there's like nothing to it. Like what do I even say? I I guess it looks like Garfield, but that's about it. Are you an angel? What? I like the angel skin a little bit better than devil skin because it, has, it just feels like there's more character to it. It just feels like it has more color and stuff like that. But the skin itself is just not the most amazing skin ever because there's much better skins than the angel skin. I like the theme of it. It's really calm and peaceful. It's like a little lullaby song. The original, the original theme music was really horrendous, kind of creepy. But this one feels a lot more relaxing, but still doesn't save the skin from being, you know, not great. Daisy is a very, very, very boring skin. And this is another one of the rare occasions where I feel like the redesign looks significantly worse than the original. Because in her original design, she had a pink dress and she had the uh the red the red the red legs. But now it's just straight up red and it just feels so just more generic now. Like there's less color to it. And besides that, the skin's just very boring. Even my own mom said the skin looked boring. But my favorite thing about this skin is the theme. I like the really, the really eerie little tune. I, I like it. But, hey, how was that? Was I scary? Do I get the part? Gotta say, Dino Piggy isn't all that appealing to me. He never really was. I will give the positives of the skin. I really like the shade of green that he has. I really like the little mint green color. And I do like the theme. I like the theme. It's pretty cool and catchy. And yeah. But if we're talking about piggy skins, this is one of, if not the most absurd piggy skin, a dinosaur body with a pig head on it. You gotta be kidding me. There's no way this is a thing. Never in my 15 years of living would I ever see a dinosaur with a pig head on it. Never, ever, dude. But yeah, Dino Piggy, he's pretty boring and I don't like him all that much. Mouse. So just like all the other previous skins, Mousy suffers the same fate, just being plain and boring. The two things I like about this skin are the gray legs, because I'm pretty sure those are Robbie's legs, but we'll get to Robbie later. And I like the little bow tie, that's pretty cute. But besides that, there's still, once again, almost nothing to this skin. I do like the weapon though, it's a little broken nunchuck, that's what I heard, what it is. 
and the theme is pretty nice like a little it's like once again just like raises it's like kind of sad piano music but this one is i feel like maybe a little bit worse than raises definitely not the worst skin though just kind of mediocre wow surprisingly those are all the d tiers so now we can get to the decent stuff we're going to c tier now the skins that are pretty decent but not amazing Zompiggy has a pretty cool design. I, I really like the way she looks. I like how she's kind of like a Roblox zombie with the green skin and the brown clothes. I like the way she looks. And I also like how, you know, her skull is kind of exposed. And I like how her weapon is a giant arm. It's literally an arm. That arm is massive compared to normal piggy skins, though. I wonder whose arm that is. But Zompiggy is pretty okay. I like her. Come and get me! Clowny has a pretty cool design. You know, he looks kind of goofy. It's almost like he's a clown. But yeah, I don't think the skin is terrible. But like I said, like C-tiers, they're, they're not terrible, but they're not amazing either. They're pretty decent, though. I do like Clowny's design, though. I kind of don't complain about playing as him, though, sometimes. But he's okay, though. Rain, rain. Rain Dessa is pretty rain decent, I'll say. I do think that the normal Dessa is better, but... This doesn't mean that Rain Death is bad or anything, although she is probably the weakest holiday skin in the game. Her theme, though, her theme, though, is not good. It's just ring bells. That's it. So that really takes her down to be the weakest holiday skin. But doesn't mean she's terrible, though. She's just not the most amazing one. The alternate version of Katie is, in my opinion, the weakest alternate skin out of any of the skins in the game. But, you know, she still looks okay. I don't really know... How she's supposed to be spooky. I mean, because she's another uh, holiday skin. But she doesn't look really scary or anything. I mean, sure. I mean, like, she kind of looks a little bit weird wearing the little dress and stuff. But besides that, not that scary. But still okay skin. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I don't really care for Laura all that much. I just wanted to get her when she came out. And I've used her probably less than five times throughout the entire lifetime I've had her. I mean, she's cool and unique. I like how she uses the teddy bear as like a voodoo doll for the victim, but that's kind of about it. She's not that. She's not that creepy, but the music is at least. The music is pretty creepy and eerie. But like I said, she's a decent skin. But I have no desire to ever play as her. Is it just me, or is it really cold in here? Frostiggy is pretty cool. Pun intended. Besides that, I think Frostiggy is a pretty neat skin. But there's still not a whole bunch to it, but I do think that it is unique. I do wish there was a little bit more texture or more color to it than just like the straight plain same blue color throughout this entire thing. I do like the head. The head looks very well done. But besides that, uh, it's kind of basic, but still pretty good. I'm a dog. I'm going to ask you guys another question. When, when we think of Piggy Book 1 main characters... What do you guys think of? Probably Pony. Or Zizzy. Even Mr. P. But a character like Doggy is the last character I think of when I think of Piggy Book 1 characters. Also because his skin is boring. It's actually very, very boring. It's just him holding an axe. That's it. I will be honest though. His redesign looks a lot better than his old design. His old design was just a purple tank top and he had no pants. He was just basically nude with just a tank top. So... Pretty happy he got redesigned like that, but that still doesn't save him from being uh, a C-tier skin. Maybe if they went back, maybe maybe even add like a jacket to him or something like that, or maybe make the axe look a little bit cooler, then maybe he would have been a B-tier skin. But honestly, it's sad that he's, he's all the way down here at C-tier, to be honest, though. But I'm not going to blame Minitoon because this was a very early skin, and he wasn't really good at making skins. So, yeah. Yeah, the point I'm trying to make is Doggy's generic, and he's kind of boring. Guys, you gotta help me. I don't get all the hype around Felix. He's so overrated. He's very plain and simple. I don't know why everyone's like, oh my god, Felix is the best skin ever. Oh my god, he's so cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him S tier. He's so cool. He's not really. All he, he's just dressed in like a magician uniform and has a rose. That's it. Maybe if his animations were pretty cooler, like maybe if he like did backflips or something while getting you, or maybe like he jumped in the air and kicked you or something like that. I don't know. Just something other than, you know, just the most simple, boring animations ever. Bunny. I feel like Bunny is kind of once again another very overhyped skin. I mean, she's not terrible or anything, but she's just 
it doesn't have that all that much to her. I mean, like, I like how one of her ears is shorter than the other one. I like the little three red scratches on her, uh, on her eye. I, I like how you can see that. That kind of explains the eye patch she has in the game. But besides that, there's not much to her. I like the cross. I, I do like the crossbow, but I, I'm, I'm grasping at straws here, people. Honestly, you gotta know how I feel. Yeah, Bunny's, Bunny's an okay skin, but she's not the best skin in the world because a lot of people say that she is, but she really isn't. But she's good still. No one sucks the life from my penguins except me! I like Primrose, but I I probably don't really seek out to play as her that much. She's just okay. She's okay. I just don't really have a desire to play as her. I like that she's a penguin. I never thought we'd get a penguin skin when Piggy came out. I don't know. Penguins are pretty cool, though. So, yeah, but there's still not much to her. She's very basic, and yeah, that's about it. Still like her, though. Oh, Dang, two holiday skins in a row? That's weird that it happened twice, right? Anyways, Misery might be a big skin, but he's still kind of boring, He's a, and he's also a little bit overdone, too. But that, like I said before, C tier doesn't mean they're a bad skin. They're just decent. But still, Misery, he's decent. There's just a little bit too much to him. There's 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 too much color. I get he's a holiday skin, but that's still way, way too much. Okay, this has to be a coincidence. Three holiday skins in a row. Guys, this is a coincidence, I promise. I don't know why. I just wanted to put these guys together because I feel like they deserve to be in C tier. Anyway, we're now at the top of C tier, and we're going to go to Bunny's alternate skin. She looks pretty nice, so just... Like I said, just like the other bunny, normal bunny, she's just kind of boring. She's just straight up blue, icy and stuff like that, maybe. Maybe add a few little ice particles to fly around. I don't know. I just want to finish up C tier, honestly. But the skin isn't, isn't bad. Wow, we're only 17 minutes in, and we're already at the B tier skins. Really goes to show how many good skins there are in the game compared to the bad or mediocre skins. Anyway, let's move on to the above average skins, starting with... Welcome to Bali's Basics in Education and Learning. Teacher's pretty cool. I think the redesign looks a tiny bit better than the original design, but I do miss the original design a little bit too. But her design is it's pretty good overall though. However, the biggest problem I have with the skin is that the jump scare sound's removed. It just got deleted for some reason, I don't know why. And Minitune hasn't gone back to fix it, so he probably isn't ever going to do that since Piggy stopped getting updates. So yeah, that's probably never going to be fixed, but Teacher's still pretty good nonetheless. And yeah, she's at, the, she's at the very bottom of B tier, which means she's pretty above average. And I think she looks pretty cool. So yeah. <laughs> Officer Doggy is miles better than normal Doggy. He just looks cooler. He's got a taser. He's got a police uniform. Just like, what more could you ask for? It's pretty cool. However, one thing I would prefer on old Doggy are his eyes. You see, on a default Doggy, he uh, only one pupil is fully yellow, and the other one is just pure pure red. I think that looks a little bit better. So maybe if Officer Doggy had those pupils, then he would have looked like even more badass. You know what I mean? So super cool and edgy. But besides that, he is pretty cool. I do enjoy his design a lot, and he has a pretty cool jump scare. And the theme is just the same as Doggy. It's just weird. Hey, Rocky! Watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat! Marcus is a pretty cool skin on his own. He looks pretty unique, and I like the farmer outfit and his pitchfork, too. I do wish he used the pitchfork a little bit more instead of just, like, poking you with it. But besides that, the reason why he's ranked a little bit lower than most Book 2 skins is because of how much of an annoying soul he is. It's not really the skin's fault. I guess it's just, the, it's just the bio was programmed to do this, but, like, I could not get past step one of getting the hidden ending of Book 2, honestly, because of this, because of this, this bot, this NPC guy, and... For that, I'm just going to rank him low, lower than most Book 2 skins because just of how annoying he is. I think Kamozi's pretty cool. He has a very simple design, yet so effective. I feel like the giant claws just kind of fit him because I feel like he wouldn't really fit if he was having a handheld weapon with him. So I do feel that him having the claws are the most effective and the perfect way to capture his weapon and what he uses to get you. Besides that, he is pretty cool, though. The music is just kind of weird, though, but it kind of fits him, too. That's a lot of thing with Piggy Skins. The music is weird, but it fits them. Don't have much else to say about Kamozi, but, you know, he's good. Willow stink. Okay, now, you guys are probably shocked right now, being like, Drew, wh what? why is Willow all the way down here in B tier? She needs to be in S tier. Well, I'm here to tell you that, no, she does not deserve to be in S tier because of one big reason. She's just a big old copy and paste of the normal Willow bot from Factory. Like, that's basically it. I wish she had more unique animations besides just the same exact ones that she had in Factory. 
just at least do something a little bit more unique. I mean, this is a big reward skin. At least do something better with it. And when you're playing as a skin, the footsteps are super loud. Like, you can literally hear them over the music. It's just, it's just kind of more of a disappointing skin. I mean, if it had more unique animations besides just copy and paste, you know, and not super loud footsteps, then maybe it would have been maybe an A tier or even an S tier. But sadly, the skin was a huge letdown, especially for a skin that was really hyped up for over a year. Anyway, just a big disappointment overall. Still good skin, though. Soldier Zizzy is pretty cool. For a book one alternate skin, does have a lot of detail to it. I think that's what I like most about it. The sword she's holding looks a lot more intimidating than her normal sword. And the whole uniform pretty looks pretty nice. But one problem I do have with her, and I have a problem with a bunch of alternate skins of other skins, is that they all tend to reuse the same animations. So when I just have different unique animations for alternate skins, because just have, have them look different and have them have different animations too for jump scaring you or walking or staying still. It's just a little complaint I have, but it's still good nonetheless. I've always been a fan of Rash. From his design, to his music, to his jump scare, everything really. I just like the way he looks. The whole criminal design makes him look pretty cool and intimidating. And the music too, it's pretty, also pretty mysterious and pretty intense and makes you fear him a little bit. And his jump scare sounds exactly like how I think a raccoon would sound. Just raccoon sound, then he hits you with the crowbar and that's it. So yeah, Rash is actually pretty solid. A good skin, if you will. Maybe even a slightly great skin. I can already sense you guys getting super mad in the comments. But I will say it. Silzis is overrated. There, I said it. I mean, think about it. I mean, he has a cool design and all. Yeah, that's cool. I like his design. But when you look at so many other piggy skins, why choose him? Sure, he has a lot to him, of course. And that's cool. I like it when skins kind of have a lot to them. But there's so many other skins I'd rather play as than Silzis, you know? I will say, I think this is the only skin to have, you know, other victims because it's a little sack with skulls in them, I think. So I think that's literally the only skin to have his previous victims in it. That's cool, though. It's whatever, though. You know, he's still cool, but just I don't really seek out to play as him that often. Back then, for me, he would have been an S tier. But now, not so much. He's still cool, though. Don't worry, though. I like Ellie. She's plain, simple. I like the little hat on her. There's just not much to say about her. I just think she's neat. However, I do think the yellow in her original design matched her a little bit better. I feel like I fit with her a little bit better. I still don't mind the purple, though. It's still nice, and I like how she has uh, pants now, unlike the other one. I like her little weapon spear thing, and she's pretty neat. I don't really have much to say about her, but I do like her. She's, she's pretty neat skin, so yeah. I'm not really a big Mari guy. I know a lot of people are, but I just, not, I just don't really play as them that often. Just... They're cool. They're very unique. They are. I just I just don't play them that often just because I just don't really feel like it whenever I'm playing Piggy. They have a unique design. I like that they float, but the thing is, we don't know who's holding it. Is it a possessed puppet? Well, obviously it probably is, but who's holding the little wooden thing at the top, you know? I like how one of the eyes kind of like springs out of the eye socket, kind of. That's pretty neat. Maybe it would have looked a little bit better if it had, like, maybe, like, other clothes. Like, maybe, like, a tie or something like that. Then maybe it would look a little bit nicer. But besides that, they're still pretty unique and they're pretty cool. Alright, here we are. The normal version of Katie. And gotta say, she looks terrifying. She got that giant-ass bone saw. She looks... Because she looks pretty creepy, to be honest. Like, she looks scary, kind of. Not, like, terrifying. Like, you're gonna pee your pants terrifying. It's like, oh, that's a pretty creepy-looking piggy skin. The skin feels kind of perfect. It just feels like there's not there's not too much to her and there's not too little to her. So she looks pretty neat. You know, for a skin that's so hard to get, you would expect her to look at least a little bit cooler, right? Well, not really. I will I will say that Bella has a pretty just neat little design. It's not super overcomplicated, but I just wish there's still a little bit more to it, you know? Cause honestly, I went through I went through a bunch just to get this skin. It was an extremely big challenge, and I only used it like maybe like once or once or twice. That's it. Just it's not the, but it's still okay. I swear, guys, I'm running out of things to say. When are we gonna get to the really, really, really good skins so that I can go on ten minute rants on how good they are? Numero cinco, Godfiagator. Alphys is a pretty cool skin, from his design to the music to the animations to everything. I love the way he walks, it looks like he's really going after you, like he's running after you, chasing after you with that metal pipe he's holding. And the metal pipe is a perfect weapon for him, since he is the bot for the sewers. 
and the music, oh no, oh my god, the music, it's super intense, like super cool rock music. It's intense and you never know what's going to happen. It's like you're constantly on the edge of your seat when you're getting chased by this guy. Yeah, I don't think this skin has too little to him and he doesn't have too much to him. I think he's actually pretty good design and pretty accurate. Like when you think of a good Piggy Book 2 skin, this is what you get. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. Foxy has such a simple yet so impactful design. I feel like the hoodie really fits him way better than his original design when he just had a red shirt and that's it. And he actually has pants now and he has a fox tail, so that's pretty cool. And I like the pupils too, I like the white and blue. Really kind of fits him. Just kind of everything about the skin kind of fits him, honestly. Kind of a lot better than his original design. And the creepy carnival music really adds to him since, you know, he was in the carnival. So yeah, very simple skin, but yet so impactful. So, in other words, he's pretty good. Alternate Kamozi is miles better than normal Kamozi. He's just as one of those ancient kings, whatever, I don't even know what you call them, to be honest. Yeah, I just really like the skin. It doesn't, it doesn't have, like, the same generic three brown colors that Kamozi has. It has green, yellow, purple, and has a sword stabbed through him. I think the skin looks pretty great, to be honest. Much better than Kamozi. And probably one of the better alternate, alternate skins. Oswald, you know you're an octopus, right? You literally cannot drown. Safety first. Don't get mad at me for this, but I think Crack's Accord is also overrated, just like Silzus. Like, they're still good skins. Tenuous Fleet does a really good job designing these skins, but I don't know. Come on, uh, Crack's Accord and Silzus are just a little bit too big for me. I think that's just my biggest problem with Crack's Accord. I, I like everything about him, but just the just how big he is. He's just too big. That's my problem. He's too big. I will say, though, I love the fire music. Can you listen to that? Search up Crack's Accord theme on YouTube and you'll find it. It's so good. But yeah, just the biggest issue, he's just too big, but he's still pretty good. I feel like he, he when the port map released, he kind of fit it pretty well, so yeah. But yeah, the best part about the skin is probably obviously the music and the design too. Just, just too big. I like turtles. Toby, heck yeah. Toby the turtle, or Toby the tortoise. Let's go. Yeah, this is one of the more simpler Book 2 skins, but I still like it nonetheless. I feel like the outfit is pretty much perfect. There's not too many problems I have with it. I don't really have any problems with it. I don't have any problems with the way the skin looks. And the music. Oh, the music is pretty good, too. It's like a... Like, it's good. I enjoy it. But yeah, he's still pretty good. I do like him, though. And he's probably one of my, one of my favorite Book 2 skins, to be honest. But there's still some other Book 2 skins we have to cover first. Arch. Bless you. I remember one time I was playing as Archie in the outpost and I was trying to get the players so I spawned a crawling trap but then I stepped under the crawling trap and I flew out of the bounds area of the map so I was just walking around with just a bunch of plain grass and a giant grass wall but onto Archie he's pretty cool I do like him uh, I think he's a, a fox I think and I like and I really like the decay on him I like how some of his skulls exposed that's pretty cool yeah I like his music too kind of piratey theme kind of yeah, I don't have that much to say about Archie, though. I think he's pretty good, but don't worry. I'm going to have a lot to say about other skins soon when, once we get to the A tier and S tier skins. Oh, it's a deer. It's coming right for us! Dude, I loved playing as Dessa. Dessa was in my top 10 previously, but now she's all the way down here. But that doesn't mean she's bad or anything. No, I think she's still a great skin. Her design is so simple, yet it's so effective. I love how simple she looks. It's just, that's just what I like most about her, I think. And I love the music, too. Like, have you heard the music? It's just like, bum, 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 bum. Like, like that. It's like violin music. It's beautiful. And I like her jump scare, too, where she spins her little staff and hits you with it. Dessa is still cool as heck. And I will continue to defend my point. And I will forever say that Dessa is a pretty great skin. And I will always do that. So yes, people who are who are watching this and play Piggy, start playing as Dessa. You won't regret it. Please do it. Please, please. And why aren't you in uniform? Uniform Pandy is so, so much better than normal Pandy. She looks more like a panda now, actually. And yeah, I like the skin from the sword to her outfit to the music, everything. Well, I could be wrong, but I think this is true. Did you know that Pandy's theme is actually Dessa's theme? Just very, just slowed down, like a lot. Go listen to it. Might sound similar to Dessa's theme. But yeah, good skin, and I like her little jump scare where you slice the sword. Wish she, wish she could have used the sword a little bit more instead of just slicey with it. That's it. But you know, still good overall. Okay, hear me out. Okay, okay, hear me out. Okay, 
This is a great skin. This is the top of B tier. So it's probably a great skin, okay? Do not get mad at me for this, please. Tio is a great skin, okay? The problem is, is that he is so hard to get. I've tried countless times to get the hidden ending of book two, but have I gotten it? No. Will I keep trying? Probably, but I'm probably, but it's probably going to take a really long time until I actually get this skin, you know what I mean? But besides that, I think the skin is great, honestly. I love it, honestly. I do. Really, all the A and S tier skins I love, and I love this skin too, because it's basically low A tier for me. And the reason why this is the highest skin out of all the big book two skins from Cracks, Court, and Silzus is because of how rare he is. He's super rare, like more rare than Pulley. Well, actually, no, that's probably not true. Pulley's probably more rare than him. But, you know, he's great, and I love it. I love the animations he does. I like when you just put in slash E dance. He does the Fortnite emote. And, yeah. I think this is a great skin. He's just very, very hard to get. Maybe if the difficulty was toned down maybe a little bit, then maybe it would have been a little bit easier. Because you see why people are getting the true ending a lot in book one. But this, it's difficult. But, yeah, great skin. I'm going to say that great skin. I like it. Phew, I had to get that skin out of my way. Anyway, we just realized something. We are done with the B tiers. Now we're going to move on to the A and S tiers, starting right... Oh, wait, though. We are almost or over halfway through the ranking, so I'm going to save A and S tier for part two. So don't you guys worry. I'm going to get part two out, and then you'll be able to see the final ranking for every single skin in the game. But for now, to be continued, and we'll be right back.